godly group here this morning. Uh, so my name is James Gallagher, and uh, as some of you know, uh, I represent uh, the Northern Sacramento Valley Assembly District 3 uh, in the State Assembly, and I was recently elected, honored to be elected by my caucus as the Republican leader. Um, and it is always an honor uh, to be with my realtor friends. Um, this organization, probably more than any other, has done so much to stand up for those fundamental principles that, that you talk about. And, and have come down here to really educate. Educate our legislators and our lawmakers, our policy makers, on all of those issues to help ensure that the California dream uh, remains viable for the future. Uh, and to me, it's, it's really important. As, you know, as I said, I'm, I'm a farmer and an attorney. I guess sometimes you could say I'm a country lawyer. Um, but I love the area that I grew up in. Uh, and it's really precious to me because I'm, I'm sixth generation Californian. Uh, I come from those starry-eyed immigrants from Ireland uh, who came to this country looking for opportunity. In their home country, they were not able to own their own land uh, because of their religion. Uh, and when they came to this country, that was the, it was the first opportunity that they would have to own that piece of dirt. And so for my ancestor, Anthony, when he first came to California, to be able to buy that first piece of land helped ensure that he would have that California dream. And he was able to obtain that and pass that on. We still farm the same piece of land uh, in Sutter County, just to the north of here, that, that he first purchased. These days, that California dream is a home. And we see that. We know all the stats. When you own a home, so many of those other factors that help determine success are there with you equity, education, opportunity, the ability to invest in your community and your children. Home ownership is that California dream and that is why this organization fights so hard to ensure that that is going to remain viable here in California. And we know that we're in a very difficult situation right now. We're way behind in the and the number of homes that need to be built. 2.5 million that we estimate need to be built by 2030. We got a long way to go. But I believe that by working with together with you and working on both sides of the aisle, we can achieve that goal. We can move through some of the obstacles to ensure that that dream of home ownership remains alive and well. What are some of the other challenges that we face? Rising inflation. We now know that inflation that we're experiencing right now costs every household an extra $430 a month and $5,200 a year because of these costs that every family in California is facing right now. We need to do more to help those families to help everyday California families with these high costs and change policies to reduce costs across the board for California families. Let's talk about taxes and regulations and fees. Uh, we see that as an obstacle as well. A recent Berkeley poll, I bring up Berkeley because I am. Uh, also known as Berkeley. <laughs> thank you. But a recent Berkeley poll found that about two out of every three Californians think that taxes are too high in California. That's up about 10 points since the last time that poll was taken six years ago. We need to reduce the fee and tax costs that Californians are facing. And probably one of the biggest barriers to that home ownership is CEQA. And we need to enact meaningful and broad CEQA reform here in this legislature. <laughs> Ironically, what we find is that infill developments, which Let's tend to be the most CEQA. environmentally friendly, that are often, often frequently hit by CEQA lawsuits. 
as well as affordable housing projects. A 2015 study estimated that 80% of CEQA lawsuits target infill, with high density and multifamily housing being a top target. That's actually this year why I have introduced AB 2445, which will require when these lawsuits are filed that a bond be issued by the plaintiff that is seeking that, uh, that CEQA injunction. We have to target these NIMBY lawsuits that are frivolous, that are brought with no real substantive challenge. We have, to, we have to ensure that there is skin in the game if you're going to bring those lawsuits that are stopping affordable housing projects up and down the state in every community. That's why I hope that we'll be able to push through this legislation this year. You know, and nowhere is the power of home ownership more powerful than in Paradise, California, which I represent. No one knows more how important a home is until you lose it. And the people in Paradise who I represent, where we lost far too many lives and we lost the entire community, you see how important that was to them. They lost everything. <coughs> and the power of this community, as I drive up there today, and as we see more and more homes being rebuilt, every time I see new construction, I see hope, I see pride, I see a community that is coming back. And they're doing so because there's so many people who have come alongside them because they have uh, a town government who has said, we are gonna remove the barriers to you rebuilding your home. They actually consolidated a whole department, they call it the brick, where you can go and get everything you need to rebuild that home. They've created uh, template building plans that anybody can use that helps cut the cost of rebuilding that home. I think that's a great idea. In fact, that's why I've introduced legislation this year, AB 2139, that will allow them to continue to be able to do that despite building code updates. Allow them to continue to use template building plans that, that meet the current standards um, so that we can help encourage that homeownership. But in paradise, when we see these homes rebuilt, when we see this community coming back, and I think we need to do this across all of California to restore that dream of home ownership that California dream that I know that you are all fighting for. We can do it, we can remove the barriers. We have to pass good, meaningful reforms. We can work across the aisle, both parties. I love that, the realtor party. And I love those. I love those, those principles, home ownership, private property rights. Free enterprise. I'd also point out those are fundamental principles of the Republican Party. Really? But I am, I am happy to stand with my colleagues across the aisle to invest this year in our budget. Invest this year with the huge surplus that we have. First of all, let's give some of that money back to the taxpayers. Yes. But let's make an investment in home ownership. And we can do that with a bipartisan call that is going on right now. That in the May revise, we want to see $600 million that helps invest in home ownership in California. Republicans and Democrats, Independence, we are going to be working towards that goal that we make that vital investment. And I'm glad that I am proud, honored, to be able to stand with the realtors as we help make that happen. So thank you for being here today.